And it was like part way through the day, I think. Did it shut down? Yeah. So it was awkward. Okay. So the slopes of perpendicular lines are negative reciprocals. So we left off on this example. It says which two lines are perpendicular? And we said for sure not the red and the blue lines. But what we're going to do is we're going to find each of their slopes and determine which of those slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. So for the blue line, the slope of the blue line down two over six, what's that reduced to? Out, or, sorry. Um, Dawson. I about said Alex, but he sits back there on that side. You said, what is it? One negative one third. That's uh, negative one third. Yeah, don't forget the negative there. Negative one third. The red line has a slope of what? Waiting on somebody. The red line has a slope of what, Carter? Um. It's, it's not you, you should have written it down lucy negative two over seven good so they actually are very close to each other because one's negative two over six the other one's negative two over seven and then the green line has a slope of what xander seven over two okay so which of these two are negative reciprocals of each other Garrett? The red and the green. Yes, the red and the green are negative reciprocals of each other. So they are going to be perpendicular. The blue and the green line are not. Although when we watched Desmos yesterday, that looks more perpendicular than the lines they were telling me were perpendicular on Desmos. But yeah, just the red and the green line. Now, are the blue and red lines parallel? No. They have different slopes. I have to have the same. If they were parallel, the blue line would also be perpendicular then, but it's not. So. All right. Lines like that, if they're perpendicular and parallel. They can't be, because perpendicular okay, means yeah. they intersect, and parallel means they don't intersect, right? Uh, well, that means they intersect at right angles, but yeah, you get the point. All right, so for example, A, x equals negative 2 is the equation of a vertical line. y equals 8 is the equation of a horizontal line. Are they perpendicular? Xander knows. Does anybody else know? Are horizontal and vertical lines, are they perpendicular? Yes. yes, they are. So the slope of this line is undefined. The slope of this line is zero. Horizontal, vertical, they're perpendicular. What about two vertical lines? No, they're not perpendicular. What are they? Owen, they are parallel. Not the question we're looking for here, but yes, they are parallel, but not perpendicular. What about this horizontal line that has a slope of zero and this vertical line that has an undefined slope? Are they going to be perpendicular? Yes. Yes, they will. In fact, y equals zero is the x-axis and x equals zero is the y-axis because x equals zero is the horizontal one. Or, I said horizontal, but I'm pointing vertical, obviously. So it's the vertical one. So yeah, they are the x and y-axis and they are definitely perpendicular. All right, let's get into some more complicated ones. What about a slope of two fifths and a slope of negative five half sky? Is that perpendicular? Yes, it is. They are negative reciprocals of each other. Who cares about the y-intercepts? We don't need the y. They could be the same, they could be different, doesn't matter. I'm looking at the slopes here. What about y equals three fourths x and y equals negative three fourths x, Lizzie? No. They are not. They're not perpendicular. They're not parallel. They're going to intersect but not at right angles. I know they're gonna intersect because they have different slopes, but because they're not negative reciprocals, they'll be intersecting something like this and not perpendicular, It'd be more like that. Um, what about y equals three X minus two and X plus three Y equals negative six? Can we tell right now as it is? No, we cannot. So Julia, would you convert the bottom equation to slope intercept form for me? Let's walk me through the steps. Subtract x from both sides. Oh. Okay. 
And what's negative one divided by three? How would I write that? Uh, negative yes, good. And negative six divided by three is negative two. All right, Deegan, do you think uh, the line y equals three x minus two and the line y equals negative one third x uh, minus two today, are they perpendicular? Yes or no? How can you tell? Uh huh. And what do we call that again? Negative. negative reciprocals. Yes, they are negative reciprocals of each other. The y intercepts are the same. That tells me I know where they'll intersect. It's on the y axis at negative two for both of them. But that doesn't have to happen. The y intercepts can be different or the same. But if the slopes are negative reciprocals, they are definitely perpendicular. All right, the last, well, almost last question. We probably won't do this last one, actually. We'll just skip through here. The vertices of a parallelogram are J is negative five, zero. K is one over one comma four. Okay, they're there. I'm not going to say them all. Determine whether the parallelogram is a rectangle. So last time we had a quadrilateral trying to determine if it was a parallelogram. This time we have a parallelogram trying to determine if it's actually a rectangle. Of course, rectangles have right angles. So instead of looking at the opposite sides to see if they're parallel, I know they already are because it says parallelogram. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to look at the adjacent sides, the two that are connected, to see if they're perpendicular. So J, K, let's just say this is J, K, L, and M. It doesn't really matter as long as I go in the same order. I don't mix the letters up. I just go in the same order clockwise or counterclockwise. J, K, and K, L have to be perpendicular. So I'm going to find the slope of JK, segment JK, and I'm going to find the slope of segment KL and see if their slopes are negative reciprocals. So JK, just kidding, but not really. We have to find it. The slope of JK would be Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1, which I'm changing to the minus negative five to a plus five. I'm just gonna do that automatically anymore instead of just saying it's hard to say minus negative five. What is four minus zero? And what's one plus five? And what's that reduced to? Okay. So what slope am I looking for for KL? What do I want it to be, Lizzie? That would mean- Negative three over two. There we go. I'm looking for negative three over two. Let's see what we get. Y two minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now we played that review game today in class. We know that if we try to do it in our heads, a lot of times we can make silly mistakes. That's why when we're not timed, we should be writing it down on our paper to avoid those. What's one minus four? Negative three. What's three minus one? They are perpendicular. This, so this is a rectangle. There was no picture. True. For a reason. Otherwise, we would have been able to tell, wouldn't we? Have? we would I want to make the problem so much easier. Let's just draw a picture next time. <sighs> Not what we were trying to do here. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll come back. We won't do that last question um, this time, at least. We'll skip that for now. I think we're good with parallel and perpendicular, right? Yes. Okay. We have notes for today. We do. Okay.